Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDT Basics video question line, and today's topic is flatness and rule number one. The question that was submitted is I recently completed the GDT Basics course and passed the final exam. There's one question related to flatness that I missed that I'd like to better understand. First off, congrats on passing the exam, but let's dig into that question here. Now the question from the final exam was, if the bottom surface of the example we're showing here has a measured flatness of 0 0.015 inches, how flat does the top surface have to be in order to pass the drawing requirements? So we see that we have a flatness tolerance for the bottom surface of 15 thousandths, and the question states that we have a measured flatness of 15 thousandths, so we're right at the edge of our limit. And we also have a size tolerance of 0 0.500 to 0 0.480 for the width of this feature of size. Now, if we draw an example here, we see that we have some form error, obviously exaggerated a little bit, but we know that any local size has to be within 0 0.480 and 0 0.500. That means if we were to take a caliper and measure from here to here, it has to be between 0 0.480 and 0 0.500. And if we take a measurement here, it also has to be between those limits. We notice here that we have an example of 0.485 and 0 0.480. But we also know based on rule number one that we have to be inside an envelope of perfect form at MMC. And our MMC for this feature of size is 0 0.500. So if we imagine an envelope of perfect form whose size is at 0 0.500, we see that we also have to be inside this envelope entirely as a feature. Next, we see that we also have the flatness tolerance. That flatness tolerance was 15 thousandths. And as the question stated, we used up all of that 15 thousandths. So from here to here, we've used all 15 thousandths of our flatness error, which is rather convenient because we can see that we're at the top of our envelope and we've used up all of our flatness error. But the question is, how much flatness error can this top surface have and pass the requirements of the drawing? Well, if we simply subtract this value from this value here, we can see the equivalent worst case deviation in flatness that that top surface can have, which is 20 thousandths. So at the end of the day, we can have 20 thousandths of flatness error on that top surface due to the requirements that we see on this drawing. However, this question is a little bit misleading because we say that it has 15 thousandths and it makes you think that the measured flatness of the bottom surface has some sort of effect on how much flatness we can have on the top surface. And that's just not true. The top surface is only required to be flat because of rule number one. In other words, we can actually see that this top surface would have 15 thousandths even if the bottom surface was perfectly flat. Due to the size tolerances and rule number one, we can see that the smallest local size we could ever have is 0 0.480, and the largest local size we could ever have is 0 0.50, but we would also have to be inside this envelope of 0 0.500 as well. That leaves always 20 thousandths of flatness air for the top surface. So hopefully that helps answer your question, and thanks for submitting. Our goal is to be your best source for GDT information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand GDT on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our GDT community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our GDNT and print reading quizzes, download helpful charts, and access articles written by our training experts.